In this video, we are going to evaluate the integral of e to the x times sine of x dx. To do so, we're going to use a method called integration by parts, which tells us that the integral of u times dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So uv vidu is how I like to remember it. So to start, we have to choose our u and our dv. So we'll let u equal e to the x, which means that dv has to be the remaining part of the integral. So that's going to be sine of x dx. Now, if u is e to the x, then du is just e to the x dx. And if dv is sine of x dx, then to solve for b, we have to take the integral of sine of x dx, which is minus cosine of x. And now we have our u, du, dv, and v. So we can plug this in to our integration by parts formula. So we have that the integral of e to the x sine of x dx, where this is u, and this is dv. This is equal to u, which is e to the x, times v, which is minus cosine of x, minus the integral of v, which is minus cosine of x, times du, which is e to the x dx. Now I'm going to simplify things a little bit. So I'm going to take the minus sign out front and write this as minus e to the x cosine of x. And then I'm going to take this minus sign. So I have minus minus the integral. So that'll be plus the integral of cosine of x e to the x dx. Now, I'm going to want to use integration by parts again on the integral of cosine of x e to the x dx. So I'm going to let u be e to the x. So then again, du is equal to e to the x dx. And then I'm going to let dv be cosine of x dx. So then v is going to be sine of x. Now, if I plug this into my second integral, let's see what I get. So the first part stays the same. It's just minus e to the x cosine of x plus now I have u times v. So e to the x times v, which is sine of x, minus the integral of v which is sine of x times du, which is e to the x dx. Now, I kind of feel like I'm back to where I started, right? Because if you notice, this integral of sine of x times e to the x dx is exactly this integral here, the integral of e to the x times sine of x dx. So, we have that the integral of e to the x times sine of x dx is equal to this. Now, since this integral is the same, I can add like terms. So I can add it to both sides. So again, maybe I'll just make it super obvious here. This is the integral e to the x sine of x dx. So if I add it to both sides, then I get 2 times the integral of e to the x times sine of x dx. And then I'm just going to put the positive term in front. So I'll write this as e to the x times sine of x minus e to the x times cosine of x. I just put this term here and this term here. Now, 
I can divide both sides by 2. So I have the integral e to the x sine of x dx equals, and I'll also factor out an e to the x from the numerator. So this is e to the x times sine of x minus cosine of x, and I'm dividing both sides by 2. So we have this all over 2, and remember, we have our plus c since we're taking the integral of something. And that's our final answer. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe, and if there are questions you'd like to see solved, email them to ashmath1729 at gmail.com.